baby. It's your girl, Coach D. Free. Steven, why? Why'd you do it, Steven? How do you know you wanted to anoint it? How it used to be, and y'all let me know if it's still like this. No one can tell you you are anointed or that you are not anointed, and no one is supposed to judge you, but you claim you are one of the anointed. We're all, the rest of the Jehovah's Witnesses is just gonna take you as being crazy. You at the window. For a short period of time, I thought I was one of the anointed. That's how I knew I was going crazy. Beam me up, Scotty. Get me out of here. Huh, and that might actually be possible. Have y'all heard about the UFO sightings and the declassified documents from the government admitting that they are aliens? The UFOs are real? Okay, let's just stick back to the video. I'm gonna have to make another video about that. Creature Satan the devil, Eve, <laughs> partook of the fruit of that tree. <gasps> no. And Adam foolishly could not resist her offer and he did the same. Oh, he wanted that juicy fruit too? Is Adam and Eve is not my, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't talk over me, boy. Don't talk over me. I'm tired of hearing say, oh, Adam and Eve, the first mother and father. Adam and Eve, dumbass, is not my mama and daddy. Adam was weak and Eve was stupid. Y'all got to pick some other characters for me. I don't like it. Fine, I'm just saying. Story about the act of obedience. Why did God need that? I want, I want to ask Jehovah that. Like, you created us to have a good life. Why would you create the opportunity for us to completely fuck it all up? Look at the world. Look at all the lies that have been told. All the people that are being killed. All the conflict that's going on. Like, do you like watching this? None of this even had to be in the realm of existence. And yeah, some argue that you gotta have duality. You know, you can't have dark without light, up without down, left without right, yada, yada, yada. But damn, if this, well, well what is gonna look up? Cause it's looking kind of down right now. I'm like, who in the hell is managing the planet for real, for real? Y'all some bad managers. Y'all need to be fired. If I was a manager and I was looking at how the earth is being managed from an intergalactic or extraplanetary perspective, I would look down at this bitch and be like, yo, who is the manager? Cause baby, you suck. This world is out of control. What have you done? You have been neglectful. You fired. Get out of here. You fired. I ain't dealing with you. You fired. Like, that's how I would look at it because this is gross mismanagement of the world, is resources and everything. But that, that digress. All I'm saying is, none of this had to happen. Jehovah put it in place so it would happen. Basically, almost guaranteeing and ensuring that this would happen. What kind of God is Jehovah then? <laughs> I'm just saying, Stephen. Go ahead. Boy. Of everlasting life. Huh. Oh, to in Greek, whenever a sentence starts with the words just as, it should conclude with a clause that includes the words so also. What? Thus, well, Paul Nigga, you an English teacher now? Just as through one man. Well, friends, you see, the progressive predicate uh, supersedes the adverse adverb. But they want to make you feel smart. They want to make you feel like you're getting value for all this time you're giving them. But see, Jehovah's Witnesses ain't allowed to pursue higher education. They get their little mind blown by them saying some little simple grammatic uh, uh, rules like that. And now everything that he say after that got to be the truth because this man is smart. He's teaching me about dashes and about uh, cliffhangers and yada, 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 and da, da, da. And I didn't really have an education, so I'm just now hearing this. And oh my gosh, this guy must really care about me. He must love me. He must be telling the truth. I'm not gonna pretend I have the essence. Is my heat on? Ooh, why I'm in here cooking. Why y'all didn't tell me the heat was on? Pay attention. And while you paying attention, like, share, subscribe, and hit the com and make a comment or something. Do something. Don't just be looking at me. I'll do something. Do something on the channel. Help the channel grow. Now we ask, how does a person know clearly whether he or she has the heavenly calling? Yes, finally. Well, people. Like a random and scripture. You have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you have knowledge. Such ones have knowledge, they know for a certainty. They've been anointed. Now look at me. That is the number one default answer that a Jehovah's Witness will give you when you're studying with them, and they at, and the student asks, how, but well, how do they know? And Jehovah's Witnesses, we would say, special communication. <laughs> it's a special relationship that they have. It's very unique and only they feel it and only they know how to describe it. 
That's all you could say. You couldn't give anything other than that. Now think about, he said think about it. They don't really want you to think about it, but I'm telling you to really think about it. Stephen Lett is admitting that they need help. They need psychotic help. Wow. But then you ask the Jehovah Witness, oh no, you listen to the governing body because they are God's only true channel. They even admitted they channel God. Man, they might be, I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna go there. Think about it. The Holy Spirit is the it. most powerful force in the universe. Really? Jehovah used it to create the sun, moon, stars. Prove it. He used it to create all life in heaven and earth. Prove it. He also used it to communicate his message to the Bible writers. Prove it. In fact, it. Jehovah <laughs> is the greatest communicator in the universe. Oh, no, no, so, no, 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 no. Jehovah is the greatest communicator on earth? Jehovah is the worst communicator on earth. You will spend your whole life talking to Jehovah and that nigga will never answer your questions. He will never talk to you. He won't even give you nothing that you can discern with your senses that he is real, ever. He took this book that's supposed to be his word, the Bible, and he put so much crazy stuff in it that it's a thousand different interpretations to this book. How is that great communication? I feel like I get blessed more because I don't wait on Jehovah. Because I don't pray to Jehovah. I'm not waiting on Jehovah. He, he, he let me down when I was a faithful Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's Witnesses wouldn't be so wrong in predicting the end of the world if Jehovah was such a great communicator. That's why Watchtower is a sucky communicator and that's a good reason too that could possibly explain why us, people who come out of this stupid, dark, cult mindset, we suck as communicators too. No wonder we socially awkward. The only time you communicate as a Jehovah's Witness is when you're asked to communicate. You gotta raise your hand to communicate in the meeting. When you being fake with the friends and you trying to really watch your communication because you don't want to say nothing that they gonna go, go go tell the elders or nothing. The third, the third way you communicate is when you are in preacher mode. When you going door to door, or you at school or at work and you listen to people's conversations not because you want to communicate meaningfully with them no you're just listening to what they say so you can find an angle where you can witness to them none of those are effective forms of communication we got all our communication skills from the kingdom hall and the teachers in the kingdom hall got all their communication skills from bethel from the governing body from jehovah's holy spirit jehovah the ultimate great communicator man jehovah is the he suck at communicating he got communication issues except to these special people who get this special communication i want to know what i want to know what you hearing leaving the person in doubt a mm. dilemma uh -huh. a quandary a quandary no, it is going stop you see, Watchtower talk to you like you dumb and then they throw in nice sounding words like quandary, words you aren't used to hearing, to make you go back into the belief that you're actually learning something of value. Only thing you learned so far is that the quandary. That's the only thing you learned, a new vocabulary word. But he has not taught anything that you shouldn't already be able to come to on your own. He's just making up a story that fits Watchtower's narrative so they can keep y'all as they sheep. Absolute affirmative communication, leaving the person with no question in his mind or heart. Absolute affirmative communication is what they get so they know that they are spiritually anointed. That's what he just said. Absolute affirmative communication. So somebody is talking to you, Stephen. You're hearing voices, you and them other ones, and y'all need help. He's admitting it and then calling into question every other, every other belief system. Jehovah's Witnesses' belief is just as crazy as everybody else's. So either you hearing voices, which you just said you are, you got affirmative, clear, absolute communication. You hearing voices and you need help. We already knew that though. As a healthcare professional, y'all need to go get checked. Y'all need to walk into Emory or somewhere else and go, hey, I heard a voice tell me that I'm going to heaven to rule over all of mankind and I'm going to live forever in a perfect spirit body and I'm going to be a ruler up there in the sky with all the other superheroes. But in the Jehovah's Witness religion, oh no, that's normal. But it's not a cult. Um, that's, a, that's enough garbage for me for one day. Look, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, they're hearing voices. They got affirmative, clear communication from some spirit being that they're going to be a spirit too. Now, if that's what you want to believe, be my guest. I have chosen not to believe that anymore. You got to give me evidence. That never sat right with me. Out of all the wacky things we believed as Jehovah's Witnesses, that one, 
that one, that 144,000. They are delusional at best. At worst, they know this is all a lie and they just really evil and telling this story like they believe in it when they know they don't. I'm a healthcare professional. I take mental illness very seriously. This is the problem with Jehovah's Witnesses and many other religions. These people are off they rocker and nobody wants to say it like that. Affirmative, positive communication and clear communication. Nigga, you hearing voices and you need help. And they the main ones telling you not to go see a therapist. Yeah, because if Steven let go in there to see a psychologist, you. Now y'all already know that psychologist is gonna write him a one-way prescription ticket to the nut house. <laughs> and they admit it and they sugarcoat it with so much sprinkles and sugar and glitter and, and, and fake gold that people just believe it because they don't wanna deal with the reality that they see. They have no other answer. And I get that too. I really understand the need to just feel safe in your own beliefs. What do you believe? I get that. Why do you think we stayed Jehovah's Witnesses so long? But my golly, we got to look at the, at the real evidence we're being presented, which is a group of men who have no physical evidence are claiming that they are going to be superheroes with Jesus. And that's why we got to listen to them tell us what to do with every day, second, and, and, and hour of our time even to our most personal decisions. And it's coming from people who admit they hear voices. That's how I heard it. That was my experience as a Jehovah's Witness. What do you think? I'm tripping, I could be. Like I said, I don't wanna see no more of this. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, make a comment. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Hey, don't get lost in all the craziness going on. You're still alive, life is still happening. What do you need to do to feel happy? Just do that. Don't hurt nobody else but do what you need to do to feel happy. For me, being active and making music and working hard, that makes me happy. So that's what I'm focused on right now. Put in the comments below what you do to continuously escape this, oh, this JW propaganda we gotta deprogram ourselves from. Let me know how your journey is going. And until next time, baby, peace.